All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get down to it. No tricks, no funny business. Um, <clears throat> a couple things that I want to talk about on this that uh, that I've been noticing lately. In fact, um, j- just a little bit ago, seen, uh, seen another video on this same topic that I've been noticing over the past several months now. About, well, several months to a year now. And... Uh, Basically, basically, it's like this. Um, I've already explained to y'all about YouTube. If you've ever seen that video, you know, you can check it out. And I've already, I've already talked about these things years ago, about, you know, about following certain people on YouTube and certain people with certain big followings on YouTube and whatnot. Um, you know, you, you just have to, you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful of the people you follow on YouTube. Now, for, first of all, before I even continue, let me just, let me just make it clear here. Number one, I'm doing this through my own will. Okay, I'm not doing this because somebody asked me to. All right, I don't ever do anything because anybody asked me to. Nobody asked me to, uh... You know, to really do anything. Because first of all, my channel is not even really out there like that. Like, if anything, my channel is probably already blacklisted, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, there's people that whenever I post new videos that are subscribed to me, they don't even get the notification. Like, they hit the subscribe and they hit the little bell thing and whatever. And they don't even they don't even get the notification. Um, uh, half the time... Um, when I'm leaving comments on certain videos, people can't even, like, people that I know, when I comment on certain videos and and stuff, can't even see what the hell I'm posting. Like, they don't see my name at all. But what's ironic is, I see my name on one end. Like, I see my name on there. But I don't see it, like... I don't see it on there like, you know, like it's any different. I mean, it looks normal to me, but on the other ends of other people, it's all different. Ironic, right? No, of course not. It's not ironic at all. It's not It's not ironic. It's not coincidence. I mean, this is, it's like, again, I've been talking about this shit for years. Like, you got to be careful because there's people on here now that I was uh, watching before, right? And uh, these are all people, you know, into the whole New Age practice. But before I even get into that, people understand there's no such thing as New Age. There's no New Age nothing, okay? All of the info that comes out of the so-called New Age movement is all ancient knowledge. It's all ancient knowledge. Our ancestors been practicing this shit for God knows how long, okay? So none none of this shit is new. Now, another thing you gotta uh, you gotta be you know weary of, too, uh, including this new age thing because well, especially involving YouTube. YouTube is a hot uh, topic. You know what I mean? Like people love using it. It's a hot hub for information people love using uh youtube for everything now you know and what you need to understand is youtube is not run by youtube and youtube is not uh, excuse me and uh google uh does not run youtube there's another one behind them that runs google so the one at the very end of it is the one that's pretty much watching everything that goes on on YouTube. That's why you have to be careful who you follow on there. People would, like, have you noticed people with very, very large followings? Like, I'm talking like 800,000 or more, you know, 700,000 or more, you know? That's a lot of people. That's over half a million people in a following, okay? And that's one channel. So, you know, you do the math on that, you know, but to each his own on that. 
Uh, I'm not telling you to unfollow uh, anybody or anything. Only thing I'm expressing here is my opinion and my own experiences that I've seen throughout this shit. And not only that, on top of the uh, already warnings that I've already given about this shit, but it doesn't really matter too much at the end of the day because people probably aren't even going to find this. I mean, if they do, lucky you. Um, I mean, there's really not too much else that I can do about it. Like, even if I go and, like, start a new channel, it's, it's, it's the same shit, you know? It's the same shit, so it's like they're constantly following my same IP address or some weird shit. Like, I don't even know, and it's really sad. But let me just point out something here that I've been noticing lately, like, probably starting about last year. I hope I know y'all know about this, uh, what's, what's that chick's name, Joanne Sacred or something like that, right? Yeah, 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 the one that's always talking about the angel numbers and all that and all that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, she was heavy in the whole New Age movement thing and all that, too. Um... And, uh, <clears throat> well, it's kind of ironic that, you know, out of nowhere, with no explanation as to why, all of a sudden, uh, I found this article where she literally just gave everything up. She switched over. Yeah, suddenly she just switched over and, um, uh, you know, she went from, you know, the new age shit to... Fuck, she went back to church, basically. <laughs> she went back to church. Like, what the hell? But not only that, even more recently, another uh, one that I uh, have seen before, will not mention the name, um, but it's not even just that one. It's many of them. Many of them all of a sudden starting to switch up now, all of a sudden. Like, now all of a sudden the new age thing is, is bad. Or... Not even just the new age. Like, I don't even, like, honestly, I don't even like calling this shit new age, okay? It's, it's good information to have, but at some point, the shit gets too a little, like, just a little too damn redundant and a little too overdone. Over, like, overdone to the point where it's like, okay, you're doing this over and over and over, but it's not having any real results, so why do you keep continuing to do this well that's because they're making bank off of this shit right they're making bank off of this especially the ones with like a million subscribers and shit you know what i'm saying like they've become millionaires they've become rich off of doing these damn uh so-called videos and new age movement and all this other shit when you know a lot of this shit they uh, they talk about with the shit is a lie you know what i mean like a lot of this shit is just like cleverly made up shit just to make them sound better because people don't know any better. People don't know any better that, uh, you know, for, first of all, to even, you know, think hard enough to the point where it's like, okay, you know, they don't notice these trends. Like, it, it'll be, they'll talk about this one thing right here, right? You'll listen to it, it'll take it in, it'll sound clever, it'll sound good, you know. And then they'll go off again and they'll, you know, they'll talk about another thing. But then they'll go back on the topic again later. Like, you know, the, like they'll just keep talking about these things. And the things they talk about in the video pertain to absolutely nothing to what the hell their title is saying. Like, the title will be one thing. And you turn around and it'll be a whole other thing they're talking about. And, uh, and on top of that, it don't even make any damn sense. See, if you don't got sense, you're not going to know when uh, shit won't make sense or don't make sense. You know? But, yes, I mean, that's why it's, it's very important, very important to critically think and use your damn brain, use your head in these situations today. Because I'm telling you, I don't know what exactly the hell is going on. I know there's something big going on right now. Especially this year. Like, that's why everything this year is happening this year. Like, everything is, is, is tightened down tighter than it has been in the last decades. Okay? It's, it's never really been this damn tight before. Okay? And the reason for that is probably because something big is going on that they don't want to happen. And they want to prevent from happening. Okay? 
You know what I'm saying? They don't want to lose control just yet. They don't want these people to know certain information just yet. So it seems like they're just putting these people out here, you know, paying them same time to get out here, talk some bullshit and, you know, get people involved. And the people that are getting involved, you know, these are people that are just, you know, these are new, these are new awakeners right here. These are people that are just new newcomers and shit into the whole idea of the matter, you know? So, you know, and as I spoke about it before about losing, you know, about fighting a losing battle. This is the battle that I'm talking about right here. Okay? This is the battle that I'm talking about right here. We don't we don't have the kind of loud enough voice, but you see, there's a whole lot of us out here that are really out here really trying to put in some real work. So the only way in my opinion and this is a message to all of y'all out there that are doing this shit. You know, the only way for us to actually get out and like get out here and actually, uh, you know, be able to, to, I don't know, make some kind of big ass difference is the very fact that we need to literally come together like, like a whole congregation of us and shit, like real talk. Like, a lot of us, we just need to, we need to, like, literally just throw a fucking pride away, you know, and start communicating amongst each other, not just, you know, doing things only on an individual basis, see? Because if you really real about this shit, you know, you know, you, you really wouldn't have any kind of problem doing that, see? But when you hesitant on doing that, there's something wrong with that. You know, and I can understand it might be some other circumstances. Some people just might like doing what they do, you know, by their damn self. And that's fine. That's fine. I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. You know, your, your trust is low and I get it. I get it. You know, especially these days. I get it. It's really hard to trust any goddamn body these days. You know, some things you just have to go and just do your damn self. But, um, I just, I mean, I, I there's... It's crazy, man. Like, I know. There's a whole lot going on right now. And not even just going on, like, with the spiritual movement and all this shit. You know, all these fucking change-up-ass motherfuckers out here that want to go from this to this over here. But, see, this is how they get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go from one movement to another movement to another movement to another movement. And through it all here, you know, you, eventually you find out there's something wrong with this shit. Because, let me tell you, I'm, and I'm speaking from my own damn experience. I've been through all of this shit. I've researched all of this shit. I've been through it all. Alright? I've been through the whole perpetual damn circle that a lot of people are just now dwelling on. That are just now getting into. I've already been there. And let me tell you now, at the end of the day, all the shit connects to each other. All the shit connects to each other, and it's all coming from one single source. It's all coming from one source of information, and it's being put out in all different sorts of directions, you know. And then they dress it up differently, and they and they, you know they try to make it seem like it's something else, when it's not. It's not. Even when you read the damn book, the A.K.A. the book, the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That book. And shit. Because before I even started off on this shit, I wasn't even... I mean, I went to church maybe wait, one, once or twice. I mean, it was always just something that I just never really could get into. You know? Like, the spirit, my spirit would just wouldn't, wouldn't allow the shit to get into it. And each time that I went to church, it was like... It, it just... It felt empty. It, like, it was void, man. It was void. I, like, I don't even... I didn't even understand it. Like, why the hell... Like, how could you be so touched by what the hell he just said, you know? But then again, I guess that's just how I always have been. I've always been that, you know, that critical thinker type of person. And, you know, on the inside of me, something just wouldn't allow myself to get so fully into it. Even when I moved over into the whole Hebrew Israelite movement, it got me pretty good for a while. But, but... That's when I started seeing the other side of the fucking, uh, of the, of the, of the, of the mountain and shit. And, um, it's not, yeah, no, it's, it's not, it's not for me. Let me just say that. Okay. 
it's it's not for me. It's not for me. I you know I got over there, and you know I I saw some things that really disturbed me. So I left it, and then um and then I moved on to the next one. You know, and then I got involved in that, and uh, you know once I got involved in that, then hell I saw the connection back to where I came from. Then I moved on from that, whatever that was, and I moved on to that. And like each time I moved on, I saw a damn connection that led back to the same source of information that I started slowly getting heavily into. But in the meantime, along the way, gathering more knowledge, gathering more information, you know, learning a whole lot more about this shit and everything, you know, becoming more wise and whatnot. I was able to start seeing things suddenly on a different level. Before I started off reading things like all on a physical level, I was able to, you know, I was able to move on from that. And once I did, I literally was seeing things on a different level. And the very fact of the matter is I, I couldn't read it back at the old, like I tried to read it back on the old way. I tried to, you know, and a lot of things about it, you know, in that book, it makes sense, like, in a common sense way, you know what I'm saying? So, in that, it is good to, you know, just use for situations like that, you know what I'm saying? But it's not good to, like, literally just have it to be in, like, your whole soul belief. See, because the problem with belief is, like... If you, like, you believe in something, you believe in something so strongly and so passionately, right? But then somebody comes along and they show you another side to the story. And then not, you know, and you take it in, but your sole belief was, was you know, was over here. So you don't want to move over here. See, this is that box that I talked about, like, several videos ago. How people don't want to move inside, uh, outside of their box, of thought, their box of reality. So everything within that box of reality, you know, that's their parameters of their belief. Okay? Because just saying belief, like, just saying, like, oh, you shouldn't believe in nothing, like, I'd be crazy to sit here and just say that shit. Like, you can't believe in nothing. I, I'd be crazy. See, you have to believe in something, all right? Even I believe in something. You know what I mean? You know, it's a trust that you put, uh, that you put into you know, that, you know, something is real, basically. It's basically what a trust is. It's, it's, it's a whole, it's a trust, okay? Excuse me, that's what belief is, yeah. Belief is basically just a trust in the matter. But when that trust starts to get shaken and stirred because somebody came in and they showed you another way out the door, you know, you thought that that was it. You thought that that was the end. And then somebody said, nope, there's another door over here. I don't know if you've ever used that door, but you should look in there to see what it is. But a lot of people don't want to do that, see? Because now they're stuck in cognitive dissonance. So now it's hard for them to just literally go out and expand the horizons of their thought. And that is the problem today with a lot of, a lot of people, most people, okay? Especially, too, in the black consciousness community. That is a huge problem. Okay? Huge problem. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't trust majority of those damn people in that community alone. Because when I got involved with that shit, like, it, again, I saw another side to the shit that just started to, like, really not seem right. So I left that. Like, I don't, like... Basically, man, I don't have no, like, one particular belief, you know, because I realized you can't, you can't move forward if you stuck on one idea, if you stuck on one belief, if you stuck on one thing, and you don't bother trying to go in and expand your horizons and trying to learn what maybe even just hearing out what these people are talking about. You know, just kind of just take it in. You know, you can take it in, but we're not forcing you to, you know, to absolutely come out of it. You know what I mean? Because 
on a de the deeper part of it is, and this is real deep, some people, some people really just aren't meant to move forward. As sad as that sounds, some people just really are not meant to move forward. And the reason being because on a deeper level, there is something different about some people, okay? Like, when you really look at the big picture to this whole shit, I mean, this is so huge, <laughs> okay? It's so big when you look at it. Like, it's bigger It's bigger than you. It's bigger than we. It's bigger than us. It's bigger than everybody. It's bigger than the planet itself. That's how big it is. And it's a serious deal, all right? It's a serious deal. That's why you can't, like, if you on the other side looking in, you know what I'm saying, that's why you are not able to just dwell so deep into the matrix. They won't allow you to, like, no, 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 don't go in there, you know? You made it to this point for a fucking reason. You didn't just, you know, up and just jump out of this for no, you know, like, no apparent reason at all, you know? You, you, you came out of that for a reason. For a reason being who knows what. That's something that you need to figure out for yourself. Okay? So, look. I can sit here and just keep rambling off all night, all night long, and so on and so forth. But what I got to see right now, it's important. I mean, it's important to me. You know what I'm saying? fucking gloves off. I don't fucking trust none of this. Like, I've never really trust a lot of people on YouTube. It's really hard to trust. Like, if you sitting there, you know, you got your, th your third eyes open, you see clearly and you see right through people, you know what I'm saying? You got that gut feeling or whatever, that shit don't feel right, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go with these feelings sometimes. Because a lot of the times, it won't stir you. It's not stealing you wrong. Yeah, a lot of times, most of the time, it's right. It is. It really is. Okay. Um, but you know, it's uh I don't know. I, it's a lot to take in. I know it is. I know it's a lot to take in, you know what I mean? And you know, just a quick little uh quote unquote disclaimer, I guess, or whatever. This is not for me, as I always say, to not try to discourage somebody from wanting to learn something or do something or anything or not trying to sit here and promote fear or none of that. I'm promoting awareness. That's all I do. All I do is promote awareness. I don't do anything else. I don't do this because, you know, I'm trying to make a little something. I could care less. Okay, obviously, I'm already blacklisted. I don't mean, people can't even find my channel. All right, I don't care. So, Again, my only product here is awareness. Always. Okay? I bring it as it comes in, you know? But listen, y'all need to y'all y'all need to be careful. For real. Y'all need to really start uh reanalyzing about like the different people you listen to that you follow and so on and so forth because humans are simple straight straight up like point blank period humans are fucking simple and a simple person you know is very easy to mislead <laughs> especially if they not aware they're not aware to, they if they're not aware to any of this shit sorry to what's going on, you know, you, you, you can send their asses anywhere, right? Like, cause I mean, I've seen it myself. Like I've sent there, I've sat there and literally w listened to, you know, what the hell these people are saying, like these so-called masters, master teachers and all this shit of what people are saying. And I can literally sit there and just be like, uh, right. So what the hell are you talking about? It sounds like bullshit, but it's funny because they're in a whole auditorium of just a whole bunch of people that are supposedly supposed to be conscious. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. I'm not blaming anybody for this. Because, again, we've all been there. I've been there. 
So I'm not demonizing on that shit that, you know, you stuck in there. But I think it's just kind of funny how, you know, which just basically proves what I literally just talked about, about people like all up in there, supposedly conscious, and they're listening to this guy and they're believing it. But me on this end over here, I'm listening to him talk and I'm just like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> like none of that shit makes any sense. Like, uh, and half of that shit is a lie. But that's, see, that's the beauty of gathering knowledge though, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of knowing some shit. See, you can't easily be misled. And God, I don't know how many damn times that I've talked about that myself. It's really exhausting. It really is. And this is only this is the reason why I only make so many videos at certain times. Like if I make a video, it's serious. It's serious and normally it ends up being long cuz God knows I've probably been sitting here for now uh but probably about 40 minutes by now. I I don't even know. Uh it feels short to me. Okay? It feels short to me because to me time hardly time barely exists. You know? Even when I do go to my nine to five job and I take an hour break, hour breaks feel like 20 minutes, man. You know what I mean? Like tw hour feels like nothing. Time is nothing. Okay. So at times, you know, I'm in the matrix, I'm out of the matrix. I'm in the matrix, I'm out of the matrix. Like I'm in, like in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, but going in and out, you know, that's when I see things for what they are, you know, but <sighs> Anyways, so uh, that's pretty much that, y'all. Um, hopefully, hopefully that shit made sense to you. Um, I mean, if it don't, it's cool. Um, if you are able to find this channel, you know, like I said, gr great, great, awesome for you. You know what I'm saying? About the only way to find it is you probably clicked on one of the com, click my channel off one of the comments I left or whatever because I still leave comments around and shit and everything I mean there's really no point in hiding this shit everything that you do everything you say and all that shit they know it ain't, it ain't no damn secret so you know ain't no point in hiding this shit just get it out fuck it but listen um you know I don't like I've, I've been teaching people shit for several years now and um you know, I'm sure that they are extremely grateful towards me. I'm grateful for them as well. Like, like I, I really and truly am, you know. Um, it, I mean, it, it was pretty much a destiny that, you know, we pretty much ran into each other and stuff. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating on whether I'm going to keep my channel or not. I, re I really am, but... I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. I'll I'll have to reevaluate <laughs> some things of my own here, and uh, and uh, you know I, I guess I'll see from there. But uh, but yeah, you know, feel free to ask me some questions. You know, I don't profess to know everything because I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and be you know like some of these people being like, oh, I'm such a know-it-all. No, I'm not. I'm not. I might know a lot, but I don't know it all, okay? There's some things that even I still need to learn my damn self. So, you know, just keeping it real, just keeping it 100 with everybody, you know, that's what I'm all about. So, but all right, y'all, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, again, hopefully uh, that was uh, helpful for y'all and, and whatnot. But, uh, but yep, yeah, I'm going to end this one here because I've already probably been talking too long, even though it don't seem like it. But uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video, whenever the hell that'll be. Um, but again, feel free to ask questions if you need. All right? I'm out of here. One love.